Hey guys, and welcome back to our third installment of Backyard Hoops for Kids. In this installment, we're going to be exploring the jump shot even further, and we're going to throw in a little dribbling exercise. Hey, let's get started. Hope you enjoy. We're about to get started on our shooting drill. It's called 11. This is a great drill that you can do in your backyard or just beginning practice. We have with us today Rolanda Monroe once again, and she's going to be demonstrating this drill for us. Now this drill starts on the baseline, okay? It requires consistency and balance, all right? This is how it's gonna go. Once again, this drill is called 11. It's gonna start here on the baseline, all right? You're gonna have your basketball. Once again, no rebound is necessary. You're gonna go to the free throw line and you're gonna go at a jog. I'm a little older, but you're gonna go at a jog and you're gonna step beyond the free throw line, turn, plant, shot. As soon as the shot's released, you're going to take off and go get it. As soon as your feet hit, try not to let the ball hit the floor if you can. Each time down, you're going to get your rebound, step beyond the end line. Okay? Step with the same foot, consistency. Turn, going back. You can dribble the basketball if you so desire. Step over the line with the same foot each time. Turn, plant on balance, shot and you continue this drill back and forth, okay? Now, great players can do for a minute at least 11 and above, okay? But we call it 11 because that's our minimum score. We want to see the guards be able to go at this for a minute making or getting up a minimum of 11 shots, okay? So for your drill purposes, let's just try to make 11 shots. Now this drill requires a little conditioning for you to do so. So after you make your 11 shots, always go back to the free throw line and get in two freebies, okay? It'll look something like this. Here we go. Hi guys, and we're here getting ready to start the next drill, the Xbox. Now, in order to perform this particular drill, you need to have a certain skill set. All right. First of all, in terms of dribbling the basketball with your fingertips, you want to try to get your fingertips forward, palm down on the basketball. You, in order to be a good guard at any level, you need to have use of both hands dribbling. This drill will really get you there quick but it's important that you have a lot of the fun, basic fundamentals. Now, one of the drills that we, everyone's heard of it, the famous crossover, okay? Now you wanna dribble the ball below your knees, low and tight, all right? Now, this particular dribble will be used in this drill, so will the scissor, which is between the leg drill and the behind the back, all right? Now, we're gonna start with the crossover and we're gonna allow uh, Miss Monroe to demonstrate that first off. So this is what the crossover looks like. All right. Now the next dribble is the scissor. Now the scissor drill is simply putting the ball between your legs and shielding it with your shoulder as you're going past your opponent. So this drib uh, dribble will also be utilized in the drill. All right, basic scissor drill, okay? And the last one, of course, is the behind the back. Now, on the behind the back, we do not teach the wrap around behind the back dribble, okay? We teach more of a control look. So we want to get on balance with our, both of our feet balanced, and we want to sit down on top of it, and we want to drop it and pick it up on the other side with the outside hand. It'll look like this. All right, everybody got that? Okay, let's start the drill. Now the box we'll be using is the free throw line, lane area, okay? Rolanda's gonna start here on the box, and we're gonna start with the first dribble you just saw, which was the crossover, all right? 
she's going to put the ball in her outside hand. Now, we like to dribble the ball with our outside hand and on this particular side of the floor, which would be our right. So we want to attack up the floor with our right hand, okay? So if we're going to the right side, right hand. If we're going to the left, left hand. This drill is going to start on the block and it's going to go diagonally opposite to the elbow. And from the elbow, she's going to jump stop. And then she's going to backpedal down to the block. When she gets beyond the block, she's going to perform a crossover to the elbow. Same movement, backpedal down to the block. Now, each time she does this particular drill, we want her to get in the habit of touching the floor after she dribbles it. The reason why we want to do that is we want you to be conscious of getting low. We want you to lower your center of gravity and be in an attack motion. Okay? All right. Here it, here it is. This is how it's going to look. Here we go. Hey guys, and as you finish up each and every drill, when you're a little winded, get your free throws in. That's a perfect time in between every drill. And how we do it is we always start by placing our right foot in front of the nail hole. This is for right hand shooters once again. Then you want to get on balance with your left foot, both hips facing the basket, ball in front, and a good position ready to get it up in your cradle. Hey guys, that concludes our drills for the third episode. I hope you enjoy them. Remember, shooting, every coach loves a great score, but in order to become a great scorer, like Rolanda uh, Monroe is here, you've got to put your time in. Consistency, practice, every day. You won't get great playing video games, but you will if you're doing these drills on a consistent basis. Hey, good luck to you. See you next time.